Um, okay. Well, how many of you today have figured out what to do after school? I mean, I cannot imagine you guys probably go straight to the computer or something. Look up, um, some, some of you might work today, I don't know. Um, or just lay on your bed and stare at the wall. Um, why do those things when you can do something that, um, can uh, be more progressive? I don't know. Uh, it will lead to my quote, um, waiting for tomorrow is a waste of today. And you can just imagine, you can already right away understand the concept of that whole thing. Uh, I'll share a few examples, some universal mostly, and I'll probably end up explaining I don't know why we do it. Um, great example is when we do homework. We always wait till the last minute. Probably this morning, some of you almost probably were studying for this exam we're taking today. You know, um, an essay the day before, and we have to write like five pages maybe, and we have to like rush it through. Is that really what um, we're supposed to be learning though? It's like uh, teachers want you to be organized. Teachers want you to have preparation time. Uh, it's like the certain phase that we have to go through to reach um, a greater potential that we can achieve. Um, I personally uh, sort of uh, don't do those things. I don't, um, I sometimes wait for the last minute too. So, but I mean, when we do prepare though, we feel like this full accomplishment. Like, we're, we're, we're glad we did it. Like, well, we see people like procrastinating at the last minute and we, we're like, ah, losers, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm glad I did it like uh, earlier. And, um, it's just, we know this, and it, we, even I can't understand why we still do it. We like to have fun, I mean, why not? We sometimes do it uh, as a first priority, other than, like, uh, certain things we should do. Um, well, all we can do is just, um, learn from our mistakes, basically. And... Hopefully, through time, we'll become experts at it. Thank you. The um, introduction's okay with the rhetorical question. Uh, you make an okay transition to your thesis. I think you need to pick up the pace a bit in the intro, especially. Your point of view, I'm not sure it's clear, but we know what your topic is, which is good. Uh, it sounds like you kind of have a preview of what you're going to do, but it's not really well structured. And then later on, as you're getting into it, it you kind of meander around on the subject. You, you came up with a couple of okay illustrations, never much detail, but ideas that kind of fit with the point that you're taking. So that's fine. On the presentation issues, we can hear you okay. I think you need a little bit more variety in your voice. There are a couple of places where there are flashes of some personality, but it needs to be more consistent. Uh, the pacing is a little slow and lethargic. You need to have some more energy going on here. You sound 
way too out of it uh, for uh, a presentation to a, a larger audience. Uh, your gestures, mostly you start with your hands behind your back. You keep them there for most of the uh, presentation. Once in a while there are a couple of indicators. Your facial expressions, this is the one place where I think you look pretty natural. You, you smiled a couple of times and you, uh, you, you kind of throw us off on some comment that you make and you make light of the fact that you're thinking of it a particular way and I thought that, that came across pretty naturally. But your eye contact is very inconsistent. You tend to look down and when you do look up, you're really looking kind of here at the center of the room, which I appreciate, but the rest of the audience might want to see you uh, engaging them a little bit more. Uh, when you watch back on your speech, you're going to notice that most of your anxiety comes out in your feet. You've got you know, nervous feet, you're crossing your legs, you're kicking the floor, you're kicking your own feet. It just uh, You just never seem to get in a comfortable spot while you were giving the presentation. I thought that you did come up with a nice uh, clear exit. It was fairly graceful, so that worked. And we appreciate you starting us off first thing in the morning just as you're walking in the door. Sorry that you got you know, hijacked that way. Paul, we're going to have you next, please, so if you would uh, get a topic and send Hillary in.